Hi everyone, it's No Makeup Night and welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be another road test review for a foundation from Maybelline and it's called the Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. And if you guys wanna know what my thoughts and initial verdicts about this product, then keep on watching. Hi everyone, so this is how the product looks like. And um, I got this from Chadelin Cosmetics for the price of 550 500 plus, I forgot, but if ever maalala ko, I'll just put it in the information box below, so check that out. Tapos, um, this is not available in the market as of the moment, I believe, but um, I really was very much intrigued to see um, yung mga reviews na nakikita ko from YouTube gurus out there sa um, US that try this and they have oily combination skin. So I was really surprised to see na meron si Ms. Che sa um, store nila and it was fairly cheap, I would say. So I immediately grabbed one of these nung nagpunta ko sa mega brand sale nila last October or nitong October. So, I wanted to see if this is gonna work for my skin tone or for my skin type, I should say. So, tinry ko siya. Unfortunately, hindi ganun kalaki yung range ng foundation shades na available meron si Mr. Most of the time, if not too light, too dark. Pero okay lang yun. You just need to make sure you, na, you get the closest um, shade na meron sila. And that's what I have as of the moment. Ang shade na nakuha ko is Sun Beige number 85. Tapos, sabi dito sa product, it has titanium dioxide sunscreen. Tapos, it has a broad spectrum SPF 15. Tapos, meron din siyang acrylic and it's oil free. Now, this product actually have 30 ml on it in a glass container and hindi siya travel friendly kasi nga medyo mabigat siya tapos glass yung pinaka container niya. Maganda dito, meron siyang pump tapos may takip kaya okay na rin siya. So, kung gusto niyong malaman kung paano ko siya in-apply sa skin ko and what methods and um, tools ang ginamit ko to apply yung product I will show you guys how I did it on the next clip. Alright, so apply na natin tung foundation nito sa ating skin. I have nothing on my face as of the moment. Hindi ako maglalagay ng primer, uh, but I did apply some moisturizer. Ang moisturizer na ginamit ko is itong Celitec. And the way that we are gonna apply this product, meron akong naisip eh. Gusto ko, i-try yung product, i-apply using a sponge. And also, I'll be trying to apply it using a brush. Tignan natin which um, method uh, works best for this foundation. Consistency check. Ay, ay, okay. It has like a semi-thick consistency. Actually, it is indeed thick. So, ito yung product muna na nagagamitin natin. I hope I got the right shade. I'm not so sure. So, una natin gagawin, i-apply the product using a sponge. Okay, it seems like na even out niya yung aking skin Okay, so this is one layer of the foundation using a blending brush and as you guys can see, walang masyadong difference. Hindi ganun kalaki yung difference when it comes to the shade. I think I just got the right shade for me or if not talagang close siya sa skin tone ko and sobrang even out na tong area na to where I have like dark spots and 
uh, pimple marks also um, yung redness around my nose talagang na cover up din niya ng maganda let's have a closer look ganda I like it ay ganda ng ano ang ganda ng finish niya ang ganda ng effect niya sa skin ko parang yung mga pores ko di ba malalaki yung pores ko dito especially sa area na to parang na blur out niya ang galing now, when it comes to the coverage, I would say that this is a medium coverage. I, it did even 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 out the under eye area, ko, pero still um, obvious pa rin new under eye circles ko, pero na even out there, which is nice. So if you wanted to wear this and still look more natural, it, this this is gonna work. But so far, I'm liking it how. How the product looks like when applied by a sponge. So, ang gagawin na lang natin ngayon is to apply the same product using ang ating kabuki brush. So, I'm back. Na-apply na natin yung foundation all over our face. And, I must say na parang mas maganda yung effect ng foundation on this side when I use the um, blending brush. Ah, blending brush. Blending sponge compared dito. Kasi dito, parang hindi niya na-blur out yung yung, ano, yung foundation when I applied it using yung sponge. So, I guess the best method to do this is either use a brush. Yes, of course, you can still use a brush. Pero, instead of, you know, swirling the product around, use a dabbing motion kasi it helps to fill in yung, ano, yung mga pores natin. And that's how it makes the pores look blur. Ayan, medyo nag, ano na siya, nag-blur out na yung sa area na to. Compare kanina na yung swirl ko lang yung product, ngayon medyo blurred-blurred na siya. Hindi na siya ganun ka-noticeable. Uh, but for the meantime, we're gonna test the longevity niya. So, what time is it? It's 7.45 in the morning, and I'll get back to you in just a short while. Hi everyone, I'm back, and this is gonna be my first check-in for this foundation review and it's already ano oras ba? 11 8 in the morning and it's been like four hours six seven seven eight nine ten eleven four hours since um we applied itong maybelline um better skin foundation or super skin super stay better skin foundation and this is how the face looks like actually it still looks good Especially with um, the camera, if you look up close, you would see na medyo shiny na pero manageable pa rin siya. Um, I feel like the only parts that were oily are my T-zone, pero the rest of the face, actually maganda pa rin siya. Na-impressed na naman ako, pero actually may sinasabi ko, pero maganda talaga siya. Um, I will just blot um, the T-zone area uh, to see how it looks after matanggal natin tong oil. Alright, so ito lang nakuha kong oil sa face ko and this is just on my T-zone area. Forehead, nose bridge, yung gilid ng nose, tsaka itong chin area. Pero, I would say na hindi pa siya talaga ganun ka-oily. So, at least four hours um, still maganda pa rin yung product maganda pa rin yung foundation so i will still continue using or um absorbing the product throughout the day especially now na mag start na ako magluto so syempre iingit titingnan natin kung uh, mawiwid stand ba niya or tatagal pa rin ba na ganito yung yung foundation natin throughout the day after um, a few more hours to see um, yung longevity niya.
tapos um, I will get back to you guys and share with you guys my thoughts and my final verdict so yeah I'll see you guys in a bit hi everyone I'm back and this is gonna be my second and last check-in for this um, foundation review from Maybelline time check it's 428 ng hapon and I think it's been like nine hours since inapply natin yung foundation nitong umaga and nagblot lang tayo nung bagong magtanghalian or before lunch um, and this is how the face looks like um, so far, it doesn't feel na malagkit or anything, but definitely makikita mo na medyo nag, medyo talagang oily na yung face ko, especially etong area na to, etong T-zone, and if pat mo lang yung kamay or yung fingers mo, makikita mo na oily na talaga ako. So, tanggalin muna natin. Tanggalin muna natin yung oil. Tingnan natin anong itsura niya, kung tatanggalin lang ng oil, or kailangan na ba talaga natin mag-touch up um, after 9 hours. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so natanggal ko na yung ating oiliness sa mukha. And I've used two sheets of my Silk Secrets um, blotting sheet and this is how the face looks like actually I still like it um, it doesn't feel na kailangan kong mag powder uh, after tanggalin yung ating oiliness sa mukha however uh, let me take you guys closer ha oops mali okay so if you look at it closely makikita nyo yung ating mga pimple marks like ayan and then also ito yung mga mga dark spots ko sa cheek area obvious na siya ayan pero nakikita ko pa rin yung hint ng blush tsaka ng contour ko sa mukha so actually it's still a good um, foundation and please note hindi ako nag second layer nag one layer lang ako um, so I must say na maybe the foundation could have been much more better kung nag-double up ako or nag-second layer ako sa face ko but I didn't so I think um, moving forward I will, I will still continue trying this out tapos what I like about the product is um, wait lang Okay, what I really like about the product is yung claim nila. Um, I checked the website. Sabi dun sa website, wait. Sabi sa, sa website, yung claim nila, long wearing foundation that improves your skin appearance every minute you're into it. You're in it, I should say. And um, Super Stay, a better skin foundation gives an all day a flawless coverage and better looking skin in three weeks so within three weeks now my improve yung skin conditioning nyo because of their um, antioxidant power and antioxidant and ano ba to? actyl c and vitamin c um for some reasons tapos the foundation reduces the appearance of spots dullness and unevenness and gives you a brighter and more even and stress-free skin which is i think tama naman siya. actually it looks a lot better after i applied yung foundation kaninang umaga um tapos um maganda rin yung coverage niya na cover niya yung mga imperfection ko although now i can see yung redness around my nose um ayun na nga yung mga dark spots ko but overall i really really like the product if this product is available in the local market, maraming ma, maraming ma anong tawa dito? Magkakagusto? Tama ba yun? Maraming maraming makeup enthusiast ang magugustuhan tong product na to. Although, hindi siya available as of this moment sa market. Uh, you can always check out Chedilin Cosmetics. I'll put their Facebook link down in the information box below. If interesado kayong itry yung product na to. But overall, I like the product. The only thing that I don't like about it is hindi siya available sa market. Pero long wearing siya. Ang ganda niya sa skin. And I highly recommend this one. Even with peep, even to those people na may oily combination skin. 
try this out. I, I honestly say na maganda tong product na to. And I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know if you do para, you know, you can share your experience as well. Um, but any, anyhow, I just like the product so much. So if you guys have any questions, leave that in the comment box below and I'll try to address them as soon as I can. And if you have any requests, let me know as well. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it for this review. Thank you so much for watching as usual and uh, have a nice day.